in this session we are going to see admin login as well as admin registration okay you can see inside admin login here i am having one image and next to image i am having this form now when i click on this register button inside this registration also i am having the same design so what we are going to do we are going to work in this first i will be creating the form for registration then i will be creating the form for login okay the logic i will be telling you how you can get okay first we are just going to design this admin registration page okay inside admin area i have created this file so i'll come to my project now inside this admin area i'll just create one file i'll be writing here admin registration admin registration.php okay whatever file name you want you can give now inside this file first we are going to write the basic html and then we will be starting with php okay when it comes to php i will be telling you which all things you have to refer so that you can do by yourself okay before that let us design this one okay whatever image you want you can just select i have just taken this images from free pick now here i'll be writing the basic boilerplate of html i'll change the title i'll be writing here admin registration okay for user also we have done user login and user registration for that you can refer the same thing or if you want to give any stylings whatever changes you want you can do each one will be having different creativity each one will be having different thoughts so you can proceed with that so first i'm just going to design this basic html now inside this i'll just create one div and for this div i'll just give the class name as container fluid okay this is bootstrap class if we give container fluid it will be taking complete 100% of the width and inside this for this let me just give margin as well okay from all the four sides i'm just going to give margin of 3 now inside this i'll just write here h2 for this i'll just give the class name as text center and also i just want to give margin bottom of 5 you can see below this heading i'm having this image and form so here below i'm having some spacing so for that i'm just giving margin bottom of 5 inside this i'm just going to copy this one admin registration and here i'll be pasting that i'll save this now i'll come to my project now i'll refresh this one now inside this first i'm just going to write admin area okay this is my folder inside admin area i'm having admin registration i just want to open this one registration.php i'll enter you can see here i am having admin registration but you can see here okay the bootstrap class whatever i have given here that is not been applied so i'll come to index.php and from here i'm just going to copy this links okay bootstrap as well as font awesome i'll copy and below this title i'm just going to paste that one now if i just refresh this you can see the bootstrap class has been applied okay if you want to remove this scroll bar you can remove that one i'll come here now here i'm just going to write here style tag i'll just close this style tag i'll just change the spelling and inside this i'm just going to give body and for this i'll just write here uh, overflow to be hidden i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see that scroll bar has gone but if i give this overflow hidden okay it will be hidden x axis as well as y axis if you don't want to scroll horizontally then you can give overflow x okay like this you can give if you don't want to scroll up and down then you can give horizontal y for both if you don't want to scroll then you can give overflow to be hidden now below this h2 i'm just going to create one div okay now you can see this image this i'll just come here okay this image and this form are displayed side by side so what i'm going to do i'm just going to use display to be flex so first i'll just create one row okay because inside container fluid i'm just going to create one row and for this i'm just going to give display to be flex okay which means whatever content i am having that will be coming side by side so i have to align them properly horizontally and vertically so here i'll be giving justify content justify content center and also i just want to align it properly i'll just write here align items to be center okay when we give justify content and align items it will be aligned properly in vertical direction as well as in horizontal direction i'll just change the spelling 
if you know little bit of CSS then you do not have to worry about this you will understand why we have given this justify content and also why we have given this align items. Okay, now inside this div container I am just going to create one more class ok out of 12 columns for image I will be giving 6 and for form I will be giving 6. So, here I am just going to write in larger screen I just want to image I will be giving 6 to image and in my extra large extra large I just want to give 5 ok here itself you can make your website responsive now inside image now inside this src first I will just come outside of this admin folder I will come inside my images folder you can see outside of this admin folder I am having images folder and inside this I am having this admin reg let me just write that one admin registration dot jpg ok this image I am having then I will let me just write here admin image admin registration admin registration and for this I am just going to give bootstrap class that is nothing but image fluid I will save this I will come here now if I just refresh this one you can see here I am having this image ok now this image is in the middle because here we are not having any content only I have given only one content that is column 6 now below this what I am going to do I am just going to write the same thing I will copy this one and below this I am just going to paste now this will be the same thing and here I am just going to give 4 now let me just save and now if I just refresh this one you can see both images I am having now here I am having 5 here also ok let me just remove this one as of now I do not need this only for larger screen we are going to design later on we will be giving for medium screens ok if you want to make a website responsive then you can give medium screens smaller screens now you can see they will be taking equal spaces left and right and having both the images now in place of this right image I just want the form I will remove this image now here I am just going to create one form and action I am not going to give anything method I will be giving as post because using post method I will be sending the data inside the database now action I am not giving because if you want you can give self ok inside the same file itself I will be writing PHP code so I have not given the action here now inside the form I will be creating one input field first I will just give the diff and for this I am just going to give form outline and and also I am just going to give margin bottom of 4 I will just write here hyphen inside this diff container I will be creating one label and for as of now ok let me just write here username only then after that I am just going to give the class class I will be giving here form label and inside this label I will just give this content ok that is username I will remove this and I will just give capital U below this label I will be creating input field ok for username type will be text and inside this I am just going to give id id whatever value I have given for for the same value we have to pass here then here I am just going to give the name name also I am just going to give the username then I will be giving placeholder placeholder I will just write here enter your name enter your username ok and if you want to give required then also you can give that one I will just write here required is equal to required ok without entering this name we cannot insert the data inside the database now here I am having this form input field but bootstrap class is not applied so here I will be giving the class and for this class I am just going to give here form control I will save this now I will just refresh this one now you can see here the bootstrap class has been applied now this is my output but my image is very large and also this is taking complete 100% of the width ok so for that ok let me just add this one ok what I have removed I will be adding here and from here I will just copy this one and inside this I am just going to paste ok this I am just doing basic stylings ok if you want you can do CSS as well I am just using bootstrap ok now here I am having this result now uh, let me just remove this align items to be center because it is aligning in the center I will save this and now if I refresh this one ok here I am having this user image ok if you want some spacing here then that also you can do you can see here we are having our image and here I am having this image so you can reduce the width ok whatever you want you can do now I am just going to copy this below this I am just going to paste 
now here i'll be changing it to email here 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 and here everywhere i'll just change it to email i'll save this now i'll refresh this one now here i am having email field now in the same way i'll just copy this one below this i'm just going to paste here i'll just write here password and then here 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 i'll just write here password and type also i'm just going to write here email i'll save this i'll refresh this one now here i'm having password field then finally what i'm having then finally i'm having confirm password i'll just copy the same thing and below this i'm just going to paste now here i'll be writing confirm password then here 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 okay not here 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 and here i'll just write here confirm password i'll save this type will be password only now i'll refresh this one here i'm having confirm password now below that i'm having one register button now below this i'll be creating one diff inside this div let me just create one input field for this type i'm just going to give here submit i'll save this now if i just refresh this one you can see here i'm having one button for this button i'm just going to give the class let me just give the class class i'll just write here bg info which will be giving me blue color then padding top and bottom i'll give here two and left and right i'm just going to give here uh, three okay whatever values you want you can give and border i don't need anything so border i'll be giving zero and for this button name attribute is very important and here i'm just going to write admin registration i'll save this now i'll just refresh this one you can see here i'm having one submit button now in place of submit i just want a registration so inside this value i'll be giving here registration i'll save this or register let me just write here register register i'll save now i'll refresh now here i'm having register below this register here i'm having don't you have an account then login so below this input field i'm just going to create one paragraph and for this paragraph i'm just going to give small inside this i'll be writing this one don't you have an account now here inside this paragraph itself i'm just going to create anchor tag inside href i'll be giving admin login page folder admin login dot php okay when i click on this login i should be redirected to this file and here i'll be writing login i'll save this now i'll refresh okay i'll refresh my project you can see don't you have an account then login now when i click on login below you can see below admin area and then i'm having admin login dot php now when i click on this this file is not present so here i'll be getting that message so i'll just copy this file name inside admin area i'm just going to create that one okay now this file is created now i'll just refresh this one now when i click on this login i am redirected to admin login dot php okay now i'll just change the color now for this anchor tag i'll be giving the class class let me just write here uh, link danger i'll save this now i'll refresh this one you can see the link color is been changed you can give text danger as well now i'll be making this as bold so for this small here i'm just going to give font weight to be bold okay this is bootstrap class then margin top i will just give here 2 uh, then here also i'll just write here padding top of 1 and finally from below okay below we don't need i'll save this now i'll just refresh this one you can see the font weight is been increased and here i am having login button now my form is ready username email password confirm password register button and don't you have an account okay we are done with this simple html in the same way we will be creating admin login page after admin login page i will be telling you what all we have to do to perform the php logic how to register the admin how to create admin table everything we are going to see regarding admin registration and admin login okay this is all about admin registration page 
what we have done we have just created the simple html template then here we have just created one heading and inside this div container we have divided this into two parts inside first part we are having image and inside second part we are having this form okay this entire form is done next we will be working on admin login after that we will be creating admin table and i will be telling you what all you should do to register a admin okay that's all for this session next we are going to continue with admin login